And back here at Lafayette with Lafayette's top five after their uh, couple days after their great performance down at Chili Pepper and uh, take a big step on their way to big goals of uh, another state title and uh, a strong Nike Cross Midwest finish to make it to Portland for Nike Cross Nationals. But um, who wants to jump in and what, tell me about what the mindset was going into Saturday? Uh, okay, so going into Saturday, uh, we definitely wanted to like prove that we were actually like deserving of the ranking that we got preseason and everything. We had we won almost every race that all of our guys actually made it to, but with uh, our whole top seven coming together and then as well as uh, a good team to race against Southlake, we really wanted to show that like we were deserving of our sixth place ranking in the na in the nation. So our mentality going in was probably just. We're gonna race. We're gonna race people, and fast times will probably come because it's a fast course and a lot of competition. So, go out there and just race the people, and hopefully everything will come together. And fortunate enough for us, it did. It did, yeah, yeah. And let me introduce you guys real quick: Devin Meyer, the, uh, Dylan Quisenberry, Alec Haynes, uh, Austin Hinman, and Tommy Larman. Did I get it right? Lars, Larman. Larman got it right that time, but. Uh, Anybody else want to add to what that mindset was going in or uh, how, how things played out and uh, what you came away with after the meet? Is that the first time all season we had a top seven? Yeah. Yep. So, yeah. Yeah, we first definitely wanted season. to prove a point. So that, that was the goal. We were going against the U.S. number 19 team. And Carol, so, yeah, yeah, Carol out of Texas. Yep, so we had to beat them, and uh, we did, so that's good. Yeah, that was the goal, and it we went well. Just have a good yeah. showing and have fun. Have fun. Have fun. It's all about the fun. Um, For four in the top six, and uh, I mean, that had to feel good. Dylan, tell me what, I know uh, uh, that was probably your best race of the year. Tell me what it was like to come back and have a great performance like that. <laughs> yeah, um, I've been kind of sucking throughout the whole season. Uh, so it definitely, I mean, I hadn't had a good race, um, okay. to be blunt about it. But, I mean, Saturday felt great. I changed up my racing strategy instead of trying to go out hard and, hang with them. I ended up uh, reeling it back a little bit the first mile and then just started making my way up and ended up being a super successful plan. So it felt pretty good to, um, you know, when everything kind of comes together and the stars align and it all works out well. So it felt really good to get back on my game and have a, you know, a solid race under my belt where I'm not disappointed on how I ran or how I finished. So right, right. it felt pretty good. Alec and Austin, tell me more about how you guys uh, pulled off a, a great performance. Tell me again about how the great performance you guys had and uh, what you know what what you're walking away with. I guess we just tried to go out hard with the top guy from Carroll and uh, just work together as a team, uh, like stay as a pack and just try to move up and try to compete. Yeah, just front running kind of and you know staying together um, for most of the race and just pushing each other. It's kind of what we like to do and how the race usually plays out and works pretty well. It's a pretty pretty fast course down there at Chili Pepper down yeah, in Arkansas. Sure. And uh, what did you guys think of the pace and the time? Uh, it went out fast. <laughs> it went out really fast actually. And uh, I just tried to hang on to like these guys the whole time. And uh, it was a really cool like environment down there with the college teams and the college coaches and everything. So that was really cool. And, uh, yeah. well, Tommy, you're a pretty important part of this team. Tell me what it's what it's been like to. Uh, uh, be part of this nationally ranked state championship team. No, I don't know. It's hard to describe. It's 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 awesome. It's humbling being able to run with these guys and seeing what they can do. You know, gives me an idea of what I can hopefully do in the future. You know what I have to work up to. Yeah. And that's that's the big thing. I look up to these guys a lot and a lot that they do. So some would we look up to you too. Yeah. <laughs> some wouldn't advise that. That the, might not be a good idea. But I'm just kidding, of course. Um, <laughs> um, Obviously, this is a big step on your all's plans and goals of getting another state title and scoring only a few points and making it to Portland for Nike Cross Dashels. Uh, do you feel like this is um, a check mark off the list of things, the steps to make it to that, those goals? Yeah. For sure. Yeah, I mean, you can't eat the whole 300 pound elephant at a time. You gotta eat it bite by bite. And I mean, that's kind of what we've been doing all season. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard that before. <sighs> Uh, so yeah, we're just trying to, I mean, it definitely was just another check. <laughs> it was just another check off the list on things we, we needed to right. do to get to where we want to be. So. Yeah. Let's give you guys more confidence that going ahead that you guys are going to show up and 
tear it up at state and go to uh, Nike Cross Midwest and um, come away with a uh, with a qualifying spot, if not a title there. Yeah, I, yeah. Mean, I guess it puts in perspective like how much better we've gotten from last season to this season. So yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And especially like all all of us coming together at one time. I mean, we really just put the pieces together. Everyone had a great race and everything went really well. So. I mean, with all of us running in top four, you know, I think it's definitely promising for coming up towards the end of the season now and getting into the late season. So, yeah. with all of us looking very good, it's definitely exciting for sure. Devin, what's it like thinking that you might be the number one man on a, in that six six team in the country? What's I'm that feel like? Number one. I, I mean, I'm, I'm not. Uh, would, I mean, all of us interchange. So to call any of us number one would kind of be lying. But um, even to be in this position two years ago, would you have ever dreamed that? Uh, definitely not. I mean, but it's been, yeah, I wouldn't have been here today if it weren't for these guys who constantly keep pushing me. And I mean, if it weren't for these guys setting the standard for what we were going to be as a team, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be running what I am. Yeah. And, you know, for all their dedication. I mean, it, I, it's not like a one person thing. It's, it's a team thing. So sure. I mean, I'm proud I just, of the work that he's put in. Thanks man. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, it's just, it's just more like I happen to run in the first place position, but any one of us are interested sure. in that. So to call me the first person really yeah yeah you guys definitely uh have a <coughs> talented mixture but um what's this um going forward what what what's next for you guys and what's is there a mental hurdle that you got to check off next or anything that you got to work on or improve on to get where you want to go uh we have state I yeah mean, this focus kind of turns to state now yeah um we get ready for that and then after state you know we Turn full focus on the on the Nike and yeah. um, you know just get ready to do everything we can there to qualify. Yeah. And uh, um, for the three seniors, has it has it hit you that this is it for you guys? I mean, um, this is it for you three. This no no more of this next year off to college. Unfortunately, yeah, yeah. Especially because like when you hear about all these teams like and all these individuals running like really fast times and you're like oh they're still a senior and you're like yeah crap i'm a senior <laughs> and i only have like a year left of this so right i mean we're heading into our last state competition so that's kind of like that's really weird thinking that next year at this around this time we'll be on college teams not even with each other anymore so it's definitely starting to hit as the further and further we get into the season because it's the last of the first of last right so it's fun but yeah it's still fun being a senior and everything but it's definitely setting it. Notice doing those things and thinking this will be the last time you ever do this. Last time I'd ever do that. Yeah. Well, congratulations on the uh, on the big, great performance down in Arkansas. And uh, I know you got conference this Saturday and then uh, on to the state series. But uh, um, as long as you guys stay healthy, it's really going to be fun to watch see what you guys can do and uh, some fun, historic stuff. So uh, keep it up and stay healthy. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thanks, guys. God bless.